Welcome my peeps, my peoples, peep squad is in the building. What's going on? What is popping my peeps, my peoples? It is Monday. Hope you guys had a good start of your week, baby. But we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about love and listing season two, episode eight, baby. It is going down. What's going on with this situation? I was like, Lord have mercy, Zapta moved on quick, fast, and in a hurry. And then on top of that, the woman that... Zach is with Lene is actually, you know, Sarah's good girlfriend. They work together like their business. They're doing business together. I was like, oh shit. So Samantha, why you don't need enemies when you got friends like that? I was like, OMG. When I tell you that Sarah can be messy, Sarah can be low down, dirty, and messy. For real, for real. That's just the situation. And then the next episode, we're gonna find out that Andre done cheated again. He done cheated on his wife this time before he cheated on his fiance where I Janine. So I'm like, mm, mm, mm. And we find out Taylor got a little boo thing. Taylor got a boo. I was like, okay. And she's going to get her broker's license too as well. Well, do your damn thing, girl. But Jacob, you know, baby Shug is upset and he's upset with Ty. He's tired of people using his name and using his likeness and just using him and showing him around like he's some type of sideshow deal and then getting paid, other people getting paid off of his name. And also, um, Andrew also mentioned that people over there at Ty's place, his agents don't really be getting that cheddar, don't really be getting that money because Ty be cutting it off the top. You know what I mean? I was like, Lord have mercy. Jacob is back home with his baby mama. He is with his daughter's mother. He's trying to work it out. I was like, Lord have mercy. He's going to, he's going to go for the long haul. He going to try all you got to do is just try just give it one shot and see what happens with the situation but samantha is left out there to dry ain't nobody got her back like that they looking at her like girl you had a good man you didn't want him and you was playing these games talking shit about him and everything else like that when you should have been talking to him instead of samantha talking to you know andrew about his situation and what he might be doing she should have been spending that time at over there talking and palm springs talking to zach and letting him know how she truly deeply feels and what's really going on she was sidelining him and playing games you know and it's hard to come by a good man that want to spend time with you to want to spend every waking moment with you take you to dinner lunch and everything else like that and then you're gonna throw him to the side toss him to the side like he ain't nothing like you wasn't chasing him like you didn't want to be with him all of a sudden now he gives you his undivided attention you don't want the man no more and sarah how can you do that to your friend i know zach is your friend too as well so in situations like that sarah basically what you do is you stay up out the mix but sarah was like yo listen i got my girl over here lene we work together she's looking for a good man zach is a good man he's on tv he's a real estate agent so girl get your money get your man get him he's a good man so it is what it is i was like lord have mercy it is going down on love and listen and basically the ladies feel the same way about you know samantha samantha's out here talking about zach call me too much Zach is doing this. Zach wants. I told him let's take, let's slow it down. He's calling me for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. He want to spend time with me and all this other stuff. And you know, Ajene is like, yeah, isn't that what you want? Though, don't you like the guy? Didn't you want to be with him or something? Like, like what's going on? It sounds like you don't want him. Ajene was like, yo. He tried, Zach tried, but Zach moved on. He tried to give you the benefit of the doubt. He tried to give you that undivided attention and you didn't want it. So now he's moving on. He is dating. He's doing his own thing. So what you talking about? And Sarah is like, oh, so Samantha, um, so you okay if Zach is dating other people? And Samantha's like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm cool with it. I need time to get over my ex. I was like, okay. She done told Sarah that, you know, Sarah sneaky ass done went back and hooked her girlfriend up with Zach. So I was like, Lord have mercy. So Samantha thinking like she's bragging and she's being bodacious and everything else like that, talking about Zach wanting to be with her, him begging to be with her, Blase the third, and calling her, texting her, hitting her up, or whatever the case may be. And now she realized everybody think that she is full gazing for the way she's treating Zach, and that's wrong. And they ain't got her back. And so Zach is in the clear with the situation. And even 
even Sarah was like, yo, this girl's wrong. Like, the way that she's doing Zach is, like, crazy. Like, don't you want a man to take you out? Don't you want a man to, that wants to spend time with you and calls you and everything else like that? Like, what is her problem? You know, Sarah's like, yo, I don't know what's going on with her, but I got a good friend that want to get with Zach. I was like, Lord have mercy. Help us with that situation. We got Taylor. Taylor done finally got a $7 million listing, baby. And so she is happy too as well. And basically, now she wants to be a broker. She wants to have her own firm and agency where she can have people work under her. She's trying to do her thing too as well. But at the same time, is she keeping it 100 with Jacob? You know, at one point in time, she was with Ty and Jacob was there tagging along because he didn't have his license. She was supposed to show him the ropes and then she quit Ty. And then she went over there to Andrew because of Aja. Janae. I mean, she went to Andrew and then, you know, she went back to Ty, but yet she left Jacob out there. So Jacob is calling and feeling like right now that Taylor is kind of shady with him. He already called her out from leaving for leaving Ty, then going over there, you know, to Andrew, you know, because, you know, Ty is messy. Ty is messy and he was kind of disrespectful too as well. But anyways, you know, Mr. Jacob, he done came through and he's feeling a certain type of way and he's letting, you know, Taylor know. And she, he's letting Ajane know and also Zach know that Ty ain't shit. Ty is spreading rumors. Ty is, you know, basically done used him, used him for his name to sell houses, to get in the door, to take it a step farther. Talking about, I'm mentoring Lil Suge. I'm doing this for Suge. And basically, you know, trying to build up his resume as being this type of guy. And he's bringing on Jacob. And Jacob said, as soon as I got my license, the man done dissed me. He didn't come around. He wasn't here for me. So it is what it is with that situation. And Jacob is pissed. And he was like, F tie, F tie. And so, and, and Taylor's like, what? What's going on? Jacob is pissed. When he got on his sunglasses, you know, Mr. Suge Knight is, you know, he's not feeling good about the situation. So he's calling out Jake. He's calling out Ty for this story. He's like, Ty put this story out with Ray J because they cool. They, and. And then now you have Jacob that's, you know, Jacob that's working with Ty. And so he said, this story is full gaze. It's a lie that Suge Knight ain't never sold his rights or turned over his rights to Ray J and to tell his father's story. They ain't got the power. They ain't got the money. They ain't got the back end. They ain't got the knowledge. They ain't got this. I was like, Lord have mercy. He is wild. Hey, what's up, Miss T? And so Taylor was like, listen, Jacob. It ain't Ty, it's somebody else. I was like, well, Taylor, if it's somebody else, didn't tell him. You're supposed to be cool with him. You knew him since high school. Blase in the third. So why can't you just tell him who the person is? If 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 you feel like he's making a fool out of himself, he's going down the wrong rabbit hole, then why won't you tell him? So why won't you just blurt the name out? Why won't you just tell him on the low? Why won't you hit him up? Why won't you, you know you know, save your brother or whatever the case may be. I was like, mm, mm, mm. I was like, Taylor said she's 100 and she's about it, about it. But, you know, she ain't all the way there. <laughs> she ain't all the way there because she ain't got Jacob back like that. She ain't got his back at all like that. Like, tell him, dude, if he's making a mistake and he's basically burning bridges, something that you're used to doing, then let him know. You don't got to let him know on camera, but you know what's going on. You didn't say nothing to him because you know exactly what Jacob is talking about, what Jacob is saying. So it is what it is. And then we have Mr. Zach, his sexy ass. He is on a date with Lene. He is doing his thing. He is moving on and he's trying to put, he's trying to put Samantha behind him. But we know that's not going to happen. Happen because next episode Samantha's gonna come through and try to get back with Zach and just say she has all these issues and these problems and she's not able to communicate effectively so therefore that's why she made the mistake of not really informing him and telling him what's the truth and how she really feels and what's going on with her other situation I was like Lord have mercy help them <laughs> so he's on a date with Lene and they chilling and then Lene was like oh me and Sarah do everything together you know Sarah hooked us up and Sarah gave me the heads up about Samantha so you know Miss Lene she's coming into the situation with Zachary a TV show too as well even though it kind of seems like you know they playing games like this is a storyline they're creating on their own and it is what it is but you know she done come through and she's like I know who Samantha is I know the story so Sarah are you really Samantha's friend? Because you gave this girl the low down, the heads up and everything and how to deal with Samantha, talk to Samantha, address Samantha, and basically don't believe shit Samantha tells you. So, mm, mm, mm. With friends like that, you don't need enemies. And we find out Taylor got a boo. 
that used to be in the NBA. He used to be on the Pacers, baby. But now he's playing overseas. And she's trying to, you know, get that relationship back popping again. Because they've been going on and off for three years. I was like, hell, he was dealing with crazy, crazy Taylor. Lord Sam is playing games. She just wants him to want her exactly. Facts, Miss T. And then we see, you know, Taylor done come through. She's back working with Andrew. It ain't no sweat. So what was all that hooray about? What was all that being mad at Anjani and ruining your friendship behind her and cussing her out? And now, yeah, you back with Andrew. I, I guess, you know, I guess if she don't care, you don't care. But she told you she didn't care from the get-go. And you wanted to make a big scene out of the situation. Like, Lord have mercy. I, yeah, I hope, you know, that man makes Taylor happy. But Taylor, she's always going to land on her her feet when it comes to business but she be she be wiling out hopefully her life coach gives her some help so she's working with you know andrew with swaggy p aka you know nick young and you know he's going to be renting out this property for a couple of days for models because he's sold in some brand and taylor ends on Andrew are working together to get the shit together to get it right. I was like, okay, go ahead, Taylor, do your thing. And then Taylor calls Jacob, and Jacob was like, yo, I want you to stay out of the situation. Like, I don't want you to catch no heat from me. I don't want you to catch no heat from Ty. I just don't want you to catch no heat. And, you know, she won't tell him who the person is that actually, you know, sold the story to TMZ, which was all lies, and it was all bullshit. But right now, Jacob is pissed off, but he's back at home. He's back with, you know... He's back with his children's mother, so it is what it is. He's going to stick it out. He's cleaning up the house. He didn't move out, so, you know, they're going to work it out, baby. High hell or hot water, they're going to try to get the shit together. I was like, okay. So, Jacob is basically telling Taylor to stay out the situation so nothing, so you don't get hit with anything. Just stay out of it. And Taylor, being Taylor, she can't stay out of anybody's business, number one. And then on top of that, if she really cared about Jacob, she would tell him that she would tell him what she knows and he wouldn't have to confront her and be upset and be mad in front of people. And it basically is looking like he's going off for no reason. And Taylor is laughing and kikiing, you know, with Ty over there at um her events with Swaggy P, aka Nick Young and Andrew. So mm. Yep, and so then we have Mr. Zach. He comes through and he got his date, Lene, or whatever her name is. It's going to be a problem. Anyway, he knows it's going to be a situation, but he feels like she's a real estate agent already, so she's going to be around the friends. Like, he's bringing her into the fold because he wants to let Sam Mantha know that he is no clown. He is no chump. You know, it ain't that type of situation. He ain't feeling that. And so Taylor gets the Seahawk. And when Taylor sees Lene, she was like, oh boy, Zach, that is a upgrade. You, ooh, you upgraded. I was like, Lord have mercy. You know, Taylor's, you know, Taylor's going to take this one all the way to the ballpark because Samantha was talking shit to her. Samantha, her and Samantha got into it. Samantha's friend, you know, the tall girl pushed Taylor or whatever the case may be. And Samantha was all in the business with, when it came to um, Taylor and Ajene. So, you know, Taylor got the one up on this situation. And so, you know, Eric and, and um, Alexandra are meeting, you know, Lene. And they were like, oh, they already know it's going to be drama. It's going to be some shit. It's going to be some trouble. I was laughing my ass off at this part. And here comes Samantha. She comes through. She was like, oh, I'm wearing my gold dress. I'm going to shine. I'm, Andrew is looking too as well because he knows it's about to be some shit. And then so Taylor is being mad shady. Taylor is like, oh my God, you know, Zach, did you introduce Samantha to your new girlfriend? Oh, Samantha, meet Zach's new girlfriend. You know, she's a baddie. She's pretty. She's cute. And, you know, I'm, uh, and Andrew and Eric are looking like, oh my God, no, Taylor is not doing the most. And yes, she was doing it. And they're looking like, oh man, this is going to be a situation. This is going to be a problem. Yes, her dress, her dress is pretty. Her dress was real pretty too as well. She, she came through looking good because she thought that Zach was not going to have a date and she was going to flirt with him and probably take him home and then tell him that she don't want... To, she wants to take things slow. You can't take things slow when you're kissing and sleeping in the same bed and you're straddling the man. And then you tell um, Andrew 
about your feelings about your ex but not the man that's trying to woo you and give you the master bedroom in palm springs so you should have been 100 with him you should have told him what was up and so taylor doesn't i mean um samantha doesn't know what to do she feel she was like well i need a drink right now i need a drink emergency drink uh, i need to cool down she's like what and she knows that it's Taylor, so she ain't gonna jump at Taylor. She ain't gonna talk shit to Taylor, because she know Taylor owe her one. She know Taylor owe her one. <laughs> and so she's taking her drink, and she's contemplating. She's talking to the ladies that she wants to find out how long has Zach been dating this girl? Who is this girl? Where she come from? But everybody in the group already knows that Sarah done hooked Zach and Lene up. So it is what it is. And she's answering these questions. She was like, you know, I just told this man I needed some space. Now he's going to bring another woman around my friend. So she's upset. She's feeling a certain type of way. And Ajane was like, girl, why are you feeling like that? You didn't want that man. You didn't want nothing to do when he was trying to talk to you. You was entertaining another man. You was all up in another man's face and worrying about him you wasn't worried about zach i was like oh shit coming from the woman that slept with a man that was engaged she's still in judgment but you know it is what it is it's a free fall over here on this show it's a free fall because one minute but they keep it real with each other they tell each other what's up it is what it is she was like girl so go find out your information taylor um samantha's just looking like okay yeah funny i wasn't entertaining nobody i was trying to get over somebody so nobody's believing shit that samantha's saying they saying samantha you was over there entertaining samantha goes over there and talks to you know um Lene and talks to her and was like, how long you been dating him? You know, how long have you known him? You know, you, you know that he was talking about marriage with me about a week ago. And I just talked to him and we was talking about our relationship. He wants to marry me. And that was just a week ago. And so Mrs. Um, Lene is like, what, for real? Like, I, I'm, I'm sure if he wanted to marry you, he would have married you. Ooh, that was a dagger right there. And also, Samantha Tripp over there while she was over there talking to Lene because right, right Miss T, you know, Lene is pretty. Lene's very much competition. Then on top of that, she's a real estate agent too. So she's just not looking for a come up. You know, she might be looking for a come up up on the show. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. I was like, Lord have mercy. Taylor has no chill. And not Taylor. Samantha has no no chill. Samantha would do shit like this. And it's just funny because this is Samantha. Samantha will go over there and ask her questions. And she did. That's just her character. And Sarah's going to say, oh, yeah, I did it. You didn't want him. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> Sarah can be messy. <laughs> she can be messy, baby. Messy. So, uh, Lene was like, well, I know. You, I know Zach through Sarah. Me and Sarah worked together. She hooked, you know, she hooked us up. And Samantha's like, oh, my God. I can't believe this shit. Uh, yeah, she is childish. Straight up, Miss T. And so, she's just like, for real? Sarah's not my friend. Oh, you... Mm. And so, then... Mr. Zach, he goes over there with Lene to confront Samantha. And like, when did I say I was ever going to marry you? When did I say I want to marry you? When did I say I wanted to do this? She was like, oh, well, you thought about it. You, well, That's how you feel, though. You said you want to spend every day with me. You said you want to be with me forever. He was like, I ain't never told you about no marriage. I ain't never said I wanted to marry you. I ain't never said I wanted to be with you like that. Like, and when we had a conversation, the last conversation we had was about business. We ended it and whatever. And I told you I was moving on and I'm done. Like, why are you over here selling lies? to the girl that I'm with. Now you're showing your true colors. Now you care. Now you're worried about me. Now you want to know what I'm doing. Now you want to know who I'm with. And, oh, hell yeah. Um, Samantha can be very unprofessional because when they were selling houses together and Zach wasn't giving her the time of the day, she was all up in there questioning him, talking about their relationship, their sex life. She was doing the most. Now she got him. She don't want him because she's worried about some man that got three kids that didn't tell her he had three kids and he's still living with his baby mama. Girl, you don't need time to get over that mother effer. What you need to do is move on to a good man because God bless you with a good one right in front of your face. But you too dumb. You too stupid to see it. You worried about a man with a 
bunch of kids that he done lied to you about. So if he's lying to you about his kids, where he stay at, where he live at, then you know nothing that he ever confessed or ever said to you was even true. Blase ain't the third. So now you're going to tell a man that's a good man, that's a ready man, that I'm going to put you on hold because this no good bastard, you know, dogged me out. Okay, you ain't used to the good things, well, then you stick to shit and let Zach move on and get what he needs to get, baby. Because you done played yourself. And now, next episode, you're going to be begging for Zach back, talking about, you know, I'm not smart, I can't communicate, you know, um, I've been hurt, and all this other stuff. Like, you know, time don't wait for nobody. Yes, yeah, Sam is very childish and petty. I sure hope Zach doesn't fall for it again. He might fall for it again, girl, because she's going to put, she's going to put the tears on. She's going to say all, oh, uh, she's going to say that she's a needy woman and she needs help because you know she's been, I'm so, I'm so this, I don't need this, I'm, I got this going, I'm blase. She's going to be like, I'm a weak woman, you know, I need help, I need guidance, I don't understand certain things. She's going to come with all that all that but you know sarah did sarah's wrong sarah played it sarah should have mind her business but sarah's just as messy as samantha is messy just as messy as taylor's messy ajanae's messy sleeping with a man that you know that's engaged and he's your boss and, and, and you know he's doing business with your boss like come on they're all messy and the guys love the messiness but they don't like when the messiness gets loud and and they start yelling and screaming they don't like that they like for them to talk and whisper their bullshit that they be doing Doing. Yeah, she be wild. So he went over there and he conf when a dude confronts you with the girl that he's with, I tell you right there, he's he it's all he's all the way in for like I don't care if you never talk to me again. I'm done with this. But you know, he might come back, but that's the that's the type of level that he's on where our friendship and everything could be over right now because I'm telling you right here to your face, you lie. Are you finished? Are you done yet? I was like, Oh, Zach was like, You tried to play me, you was talking about me to Andrew, you know, you was talking about me to the ladies, like I'm some sucker, like I'm some clown. And Andrew went and picked him up another woman because he know he can get somebody he knows he can get somebody just like she can get somebody too but she don't know how to pick the right one she don't know how to pick a good one and she don't know when she there's a good man in front of her face and now we got mr jacob jacob is feeling a certain type of way jacob is feeling a certain type of way ty gonna go over there and like i heard you had something to say to me how did you hear that he had something to say to you what did taylor run and tell you taylor wants you run and tell jacob who really put the rumors out or who's about that bullshit you know what i mean like taylor like you're supposed to be down and all this other stuff but you can't tell him he's supposed to be your boy he's supposed to went to school together or some shit like that or know each other whatever but anyways, Taylor always talking about she's 100, but she ain't 100 here. So with that situation, especially when Ty done already did her wrong, Jacob ain't never really did nothing to her. Jacob, when shit, when people are talking about Taylor, he be like, yo, she needs love, she needs help. He don't be going off on her. He told her to mind her business and stay out of it. She can't mind her business and stay out of it. So as Jacob is addressing Ty, she jumps in and she got something to say. And he told her to mind her business. So he's upset with her. But he shouldn't show that much aggression or anger towards her too as well. He feels betrayed. He feels like they're older than him. They're taking advantage of him. And he also feels like Ty was only trying to show him around. Act like he was going to mentor him. Just to show people that he is running with Suge Knight's son. And basically get some doors open further. Or some new people to open up some doors. Or put on that on his resume. That like I'm this good guy. I'm helping this young black man out while his father's locked down you know you know how he's trying to use him as like you know like a, a, you know she's showboating he's using him as a prop that's how jacob feels even if jacob don't have the right information whether you know ty did it somebody told jacob that he did it somebody that's you know connected to whatever media network you know, did it. You know, Taylor's saying, well, Ty didn't do it because Ty don't got no plugs over there at TMZ. Jacob needs to handle this issue better. Yeah. He shouldn't have handled it like that because they're going to try to put him on, on, on notice. Like, oh, he's, he's like this, he's like that. And that's not the case. Sam is a stalker. Yes, she is, Michelle. So I'm just like, mm, mm, mm. So he, so I don't know why Taylor won't tell him what's up. You know what I mean? And you know, and if if um Ty didn't have nothing to do with the situation, you know, he's saying he didn't have nothing to do with it. But what is the? But also Jacob 
issue with Ty is like, hey, yo, I got my real estate license. You didn't come through. You said, oh, I got to get my real estate license, Blas in the third, but you cut me off as soon as I got my real estate license. So you used me as a showboat. You used, you used me to show me around like, oh, I'm working with Should Night Sun, Blas in the third. I got my real estate license. Now we can't, now we're not even doing business because you see Jacob now is working with the two other young black guys, you know, that got that big ass mansion. They be having Taco Tuesday. They be having all types of parties. They need to invite us to their parties because we would definitely party after the corona is over baby <laughs> so you have that situation so you know it's a whole lot to jacob situation i don't so J so taylor is just addressing the situation with the media so does taylor realize that jacob is also saying that he that he feels like ty took advantage of him and he's also calling out taylor a little bit too as well so i wonder when taylor and jacob sit down next episode and have a conversation you know she understands his whole point of view it's not just you know the situation with ray j allegedly you him and ty going to team z and, and selling them a story about suge knight turned over his rights i remember when that story came out too as well so jacob was like i, I didn't do nothing i like that's i like i don't know why he's mad i don't even and so you know jacob he said he wants to be called suge now but jacob says listen you used me i helped you out a lot he was like you ain't never helped me with nothing he goes i helped you out a lot and i don't think jacob is lying about that because jacob ultimately don't have no beef for nobody to come at people like that only one time like he had a kind of like an altercation but he was just mad is when you know taylor left the agency and he felt like i thought you was gonna be there with me and ty and you was gonna be showing me like you were supposed to be loyal and so jacob is kind of like a loyal guy you do right by him he'll do right by you he's like that type of guy and so with that situation with jacob you know, he feels like, okay, this dude, he's, he, he doesn't really start shit with people. And then basically they kind of made fun of him because he didn't have his real estate license. And then he went and got it. He might have had to take a second test, but he did. But he don't ultimately start no beef with nobody like that. He feels like Ty did him in. Ty used him. Used him as a side a, a, a sideshow act. And basically used his name to get in the door. Then he was dealing with Ray J. And then Ray J said, let's come up with this story because people going to believe it because Jacob is next to you so if Ty had nothing to do with the story if he was ultimately really supporting Jacob as a mentor when he got his license he would have made sure he was working and Andrew said that Jacob don't you know really help out his agents like that and so sugar's like yo i'm done with the shit you know you played me you used me you guys are all older than me i don't got my mother here my father's in jail and i'm looking up to you guys but you guys ain't no good i'm tired of people using my name i'm tired of people using me ray j did it you know and then some tmz came up with another story saying that my brother was this such and such guy and all this other stuff so basically he's pissed he's upset he's mad at taylor because taylor's jumping in and she's defending taylor and he feels like Taylor should be defending him. Taylor could just be quiet about the situation. But I wonder if she gonna tell him the truth. You know what I mean? Like, what's going on with that situation? Simpson, this is so messy. It feels like it's scripted. Real life soap opera. Yes, it is. I know. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> But when reality, it could be scripted too as well. But when they first start, they're like the best because everybody be moving. <laughs> everybody got something to say. Like they don't have no allegiance or no alliance to this person or that person. It just be like, it's every woman and man for themselves. And this is the situation. And I don't like Ty anyway, because I didn't like the way that Ty was talking to Taylor or anything else. I didn't like the way he was talking to her and acting like she was like, you know, his subordinate. You know what I mean? Like he was disrespectful. But ultimately, at the end of the day, when she wanted to go back to work with him, you know, he hired her and now he got her doing $7 million listings. But she was complaining that she wasn't getting put on and she wasn't getting big numbers of houses. And so, you know, it is what it is. And she was complaining about Ty and she said it's so much different with Andrew. And now you have Jacob complaining about Ty, basically saying he didn't do shit. He did. Once I got my license, he disappeared. So Jacob could be feeling in this moment at this present time when this happened that taylor used him his name to bring her to bring him over there to ty and ty saw oh this is a gimmick we can make some money off of this situation and now all of a sudden taylor's doing seven dollar seven million dollars listing hey sunny son what's going on baby how you doing? Taylor needs Taylor needs to tell him I know this cat is hungry. Yes, he is. You can tell he wants some attention. 
Ugh, it makes me sick. But we all know Jacob could be, Jacob could really have people on the inside letting him know what's actually going on, who did this and who that. Because Jacob is, you know, Suge Knight's son and he does have relationship with people that have relationship with his father. And, you know, it's not like he, he can't get the information if he really want it. <laughs> Ty is an ass. He, he did not talk to her. Yeah, he was talking to her real crazy. <laughs> he talked to her real crazy. He was, ugh, he was a mess. So, you know, I, I mean, Andrew's over here like, you know, Ty don't be playing these people like he's supposed to. He didn't say it like that, but he did the money sign. And he was looking and talking to Jacob and looking at Ty and basically saying that they don't get paid right because that was Taylor's biggest complaint that she's not getting the biggest houses. She's not doing that. And then when she moved to Andrew, she was making that money. She was doing things. So, mm. so we have that situation. And we have Andrew. He comes and he calms down, you know, um, Jacob. He understands where Jacob's come from and it's messed up. Even though, I'm, even though Andrew seems like, you know, he's the most successful person in the group and Blase the third. He's still from the streets. He's been homeless. He's been living out his car, so he understands. So he goes over there and say a word to, you know, Jacob. You know, the guys don't really like when people argue loud and get upset and be and draw so much attention to this stuff. The guys don't like that as a group. You can shade, you can kiki, but keep it at a minimum. Don't let the whole world know what you're talking about. They don't like that. So, you know, Andrew did Jacob a favor because Jacob was upset. Jacob was mad. You know, I don't think Jacob was going to do anything to Ty or anything else like that because he ain't stupid. Stupid. And so he so he was like, get away from me, Taylor. I don't want to talk to you. Go back over there with them. So, you know, he's feeling a certain type. When he got on the glasses, Jacob is mad. Andrew is a mess too next week. I know he is a mess because he's gonna get caught. He's going to therapy because he done cheated on his wife now. At first he cheated on his fiance. Jacob, uh, not Jacob, but Andre. I mean, Andrew cannot keep it in his pants. Andrew, I don't know what's going on with you and your wife, but you are always dipping and dapping. And it's going to be crazy, too. And, you know, Sarah's going to find out what Sarah finds out. That I don't know why they keep talking around Sarah. I don't know why they talk around Samantha. And I don't know why they talk around Taylor. I don't know why they do it. But anyways, Sarah runs and tells Ajani, guess what? He did it again. He did it again. He did it again. Ooh. Next week is going to be crazy, baby. These guys ready to stick together better than the ladies. Yes, they do. They do, but they threw Andrew out the group when they felt like he was doing something wrong. Okay, thank you so much, Sunny Storm. I'm going to check you out, sweetheart. Thank you so much for coming through. These guys check out Sunny Storm's YouTube channel. For real, for real. So, yep, that's the episode. Thank you guys for coming through. Sarah can't hold spit. She can't hold nothing. Oh, Lord, you know Sarah. Sarah and Samantha can't hold nothing at all. Point blank, period. You are so right, Miss T. Thank you so much, Sunny Storm. I appreciate it. So that's this episode. So next episode, we're going to see Samantha get down on her knees and beg for Zach back because she realized Zach has moved on and he ain't sweating whore. But Sarah is dirty for that because I don't even care if you're more friends with Zach. Let Zach find his own woman. But Sarah's looking at it like, yo, I got a single friend at my job. Mm. You know what? I'm going to hook you up, girl. Sarah's coming through. Sarah, I, I told you guys last week that Sarah is messy. And Sarah will get in where she fit in and she won't take it back. She will uh, own it. Same thing with Sam. Sam will own it too. Ajene will own it. Like, they talk their shit. They do their shit. But they call each other out on it. And they just be like that. All those girls are jealous of Samantha. I don't think they're jealous of Samantha. None of them are jealous of Samantha. Is this just a, a storyline? It is. And plus, they feel like, you know, she's doing Zach dirty because she's talking behind his back, even though that they're cool with Zach too as well. Sarah done told us that she know Zach longer than she knew Samantha. So she felt obligated. And you know, um, Andrew went and told the other guys about what Samantha said to him about Zach and their relationship. And so, you know, instead of Samantha telling Zach, hey, listen, I really like you, but I want to really take it slow because I'm, I'm hurting over my ex. You know, I need to move on. And, you know, I'm dealing with some situations. I'm trying to clean my spirit. I'm trying to clean my soul of that no good dude. 
and and be real with Zach. And instead of telling Zach, oh yeah, I'm ready for a relationship when she met up with him, and Zach had to come to her and tell her and ask her about her ex. So she wasn't 100 with Zach when she was chasing him around. And so when people see that, people see a good dude really trying to be monogamous and really, you know, treat Samantha like a good woman and call her and take her out, ask her how she's doing. Does she want to hang out? And then she's over here talking about her ex. Then she's bragging, oh, Zach is all over me. You know, people might feel, people that are uh, cool with you at a moment, they might feel like, you know what? Let me just tell Zach what's up. I want to see Taylor get hit. <laughs> you sound like my friend. <laughs> me saying that. I, I really think Sarah is taking some type. I told you, I believe it all day, every day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I want to see Taylor get hit. Taylor was a mess, but she's getting better. <laughs> Samantha thought her body was going to hold him. Mm -mm, not in L.A. Not in L.A. Maybe you was in Wisconsin somewhere or somewhere different, but not in not in California. <laughs> Zach better not. But so we're going to see. I think Zach is going to take back Samantha. I think he's going to give Samantha another chance because Zach is that kind of like that nice dude, you know? And if you tell Zach something deep that's wrong with you mentally or you have something that is you want to you want to reach that goal of being a better person, Zach is the type of person that will give you that second shot, that second chance, and he'll believe you because Zach seems like, you know, he could be gullible at some time. Sam thought. <laughs> so, yep, that's it. That's the situation. Miss T, thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for supporting. I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much, Miss T. Much love to you. Thank you, Sunny Storm. Thank you, Smith Taylor's making more money when she's acting like a grown-up. Fact! She's got a broker's license. She's got a $7 million property she's about to sell. She's throwing parties with Andrew like damn thank god taylor taylor love making sam look stupid taylor owed samantha because samantha got at taylor and basically was having ajani go address taylor and then when taylor and ajani got into that little you know scuffle at that at eric's you know part charity party you know um Samantha was in the mix. She was all she was all in there on Ajane's side, all in the business. And then, you know, she felt a certain type of way. So you know as soon as Taylor can make Samantha look bad, she was the first. I laughed so bad. I laughed when Taylor was like, oh, Samantha, meet Zach new girlfriend. Isn't she a baddie? I was like, I was gone. I laughed for a good minute. I laughed for a good minute, for real, for real. Thank you guys for coming through. I appreciate you. Thank you, Miss T. Much love. Stay blessed. Stay woke. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your week and you be prosper. You be prosper and you make what you want. You make the money that you want and you do the things that you want. And you are also protected too as well from all this stuff that's going on that's negative in the world. Peace, I'm out. Much love to all my peeps and my peoples. Peep Squad is in the building, babe.